Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live for the men's pro final. It's been a little while since we have seen this number one versus number two, Conrado Moscoso, currently ranked number one in the men's pro tour. Daniel De La Rosa, currently ranked number two. Bolivia, Mexico, the best that pro racquetball has to offer. Welcome, everybody, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I'm Fabio Soto bringing you live for the IRT, the men's pro final. Look at how little margin they have in professional points. These rankings might change tomorrow. We might have a new number one player tomorrow, or they could stay the same. We'll find out soon enough. And we're about to be in. Conrado Moscoso won the toss. He will begin with the serve. Skip by Moscoso. Just really can't imagine the amount of pressure and mentality that's going through Moscoso right now. Yeah. Want to welcome everybody in the chat box, Mr. Adam Manilla. Adam, welcome to the chat box and welcome to the men's pro final. A number one versus a number two. We haven't seen this in a while. Oh, thanks, Fabio. Thanks for having us, having me on here. We'll see. Um, you know, both of these guys have been playing super good this tournament. Uh, I mean, I know I played Conrado earlier this week, and and he was on fire. So we'll see how Daniel can handle it. Um, you know, Daniel always plays a pretty consistent game. Doesn't make a lot of errors. Um, so. We'll see how it goes. Well, Daniel off to a good start. 1-0. And again, just, you know, Daniel's so smooth with all these balls. You can see, you know, doesn't, doesn't hit the perfect shot every time. It's just super consistent, you know, makes it look super nice. 0-1. Um, Down the line winner there for Moscoso. You know what, Adam? I, this is something I've been waiting to see for a while. Of course, we had a treat, you know, two weeks ago in Austin. We were all there. You know, this was the final as well. But, you know, Daniel got the best of Moscoso in two. But here we are again two weeks later in Sioux Falls. Same scenario, but the mentality is different. Moscoso has talked about that added psychological pressure of being number one now. De La Rosa was looking for a screen serve right there. Didn't get it. Yeah, he's definitely, you know, there's definitely is a little psychological. Now he's the he's the big dog on campus and everyone's gunning for him now. So you definitely have that added pressure. Um, we'll see how he does today. That's a point ace served by De La Rosa. 2-0. I mean, yeah, Adam, like you're saying, you know, they're gunning for him. You know, you, you, you fight, you want to fight the wrestler with the belt. Absolutely. Perfect down the line again. I mean, Conrado's shooting lights out this tournament. You know, just to be able to put that ball straight down the line, crack out at the back there, can't get it. Pretty awesome. Wow, a serve, Conrado. Yeah, just hit the left corner right there. Daniel couldn't do nothing about it. Yeah, that, that serve has been going in all weekend for him. And when that thing is hit right, it's a bullet. And it's so hard to return. Jeez, again. I mean, that serve wow. is just on fire right now. And he's hitting it in a way, too, that it's not coming off the back wall either. So it's not like he's rocketing too hard that it comes off the back wall. It's bouncing twice before the back wall and hitting that corner. Three, Just like that, Conrado, three-point run. Yeah. 
and that's the real advantage to having a good drive serve like Conrado has is, you know, he's down 0-2, rattles off two, three aces, and now you're up 3-2 in the game. De La Rosa, that mistake right there. And you know, it's still early in the match. Both of the, these guys are feeling each other out, seeing what's gonna work today, what's not gonna work. So I anticipate a few more points of this and then it's gonna really get into it. Oh, quick work right there by Moscoso, just leaving very little to no margin for error. Five points in a row for him. Well, and you can see when he starts getting this drive serve going like he is right now, you know, it's hard to be offensive on the drive serve. You can see Daniel's not putting a ton of pace back at him. He's just trying to get the ball back to the front wall. And there you go. One gets left off the back wall. He tries to hit a jam serve at it. Daniel has time to spin around and kill the ball. And I gotta ask you, and we were talking about this last night, you know, we haven't had a pro rackable rivalry in many years. It's just been dominant by Kane Wazelenchik for over 10 years. You know, we missed the Sudsy Munchik and uh, Cliff Swain days. I don't, know, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but you know what? I wish we could see the beginning of a making of a rivalry between these two. And it, and it will be, and it is. It's already starting. You can kind of see it. You can feel it when these guys play each other. Um, both of them are playing at an extremely high level right now and kind of fighting for that one and two number right now. Daniel didn't get away with that one like he got away with it yesterday. He knows he took a risk. Yep. But yeah, we, you know, Cliff versus Sudsy, and we missing those rivalries. McEnroe yeah, versus absolutely. Jimmy Connors. Absolutely. James Hunt versus Nicky Lauda. We, we missed those one and two rivalries. And we, we might be seeing a 2023 with a big rivalry. Yeah, I could see it. These guys, again, they're playing super high racquetball right now. Again, we can kind of see that Moscoso's getting a little more success when he's drive serving that left side. You gotta, you know, you can't just pound it left, left, left every time or Daniel's gonna start getting a beat on it. So he keeps throwing in a few to the right, jamming so that he can open up the left side of that drive serve to really start scoring points. So Conrado's telling us about how he feels this new added pressure since he reached that number one ranking about a couple of weeks ago. But De La Rosa, you know, what about him, psychologically speaking? I mean, he's finished twice uh, a number one these past two seasons. But, you know, even though he won in Austin, he's number two. And he has some added pressure, too. Absolutely. Set up for Daniel. Nice White shot. angle pass. That nice was a shot. good shot. I mean, and that's one of Daniel's biggest strengths in his game is he's just so consistent when he plays. Doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, makes you really have to put the ball down or he's going to just punish you with his consistency. And I'm sure we'll start to see that drive serve going a little more from Daniel. He's kind of getting a feel for it right now. That's going to be Daniel's biggest challenge. The defense of Conrado Moscoso. He's going to have to work for it. And you can kind of see in that rally too, you know, Daniel is forcing Conrado to play from the back and hit from the back. Um, and then when he gets the opportunity, puts it away. Oh man, that serves coming in close.
It's a good pickup. That was a good pickup. A former angle looked like a good pickup. Let's see what the judges say. It's an appeal by De La Rosa. Two bounces. Two bounces overturned. I thought it was two bounces as well. Um, it was close, though. Four more angle, it, it seems. Yeah, Four it was angle. close. It was very close. Wow. I have to say, though, good, good abuse of an appeal for Daniel. Absolutely. Five, five, second serve. And again, I think Daniel's just going to stay with that lob nick, makes it so that Conrado can't cut that ball off and be too offensive on the lob serve. Gives Daniel a chance to get back in the rally. Nice shot by Daniel again. Go. Look at that. I mean, it's just super consistent, you know? It's not like he, he flat rolled that ball. He just keeps on keeping Conrado on his feet, moving him left to right, keeping him in the back of the court. But this is a response that I love. You know, Daniel was down two to five. Now he's up six to five. So a four point run for De La Rosa, make that a five point run. And this is what a champion has to do. Absolutely. Dig deep, come from the back. You know, someone, someone has you, you know, within his grasp, but then you come back, you dig yourself out and move on ahead. Absolutely. Conrado was tired of sitting back and hitting the ceiling ball there, so he stepped up and was aggressive on that. Kind of caught Daniel a little bit by surprise. And here we go. Here's the power of having this drive serve that Conrado has. We'll see if he can just get a few points off of a really good drive serve. Short. Rosa. Five, po five point run for him. Yeah, and the way these two are playing right now, you know, leaving balls off the back wall or serves off the back wall, you're just going to get punished. Great get. Daniel seemed to trip a little bit there. And you know what? That was a great shot, though. Conrado went for cross court, but down just, again, defense. And, you know, I got to ask you, uh, Adam, defensively speaking, which one of these two athletes has the upper hand defensively? Great question. Um, you know, both of them are obviously very fast. Um, you know, I do think that Daniel defensively is going to be a little bit more ahead of Conrado just because Conrado plays a lot more offensive game um, but not by a lot that's another skip by Conrado Moscoso and he's appealing right now second serve wow great use of an appeal for Conrado call over turn There it is again. There you go. You know, that serves really working for Daniel. Uh, if he hits it well, hard to cut that ball off. And, you know, Conrado just goes up to the ceiling. It's got to be a perfect ceiling ball or else Daniel's been putting that ball away. 8-5. Wow. Speaking, Speaking of right. defense, here we go. Boom. Oh. Wow, great effort. Great get. You got to see that again, Adam. Look at this. Conrado reaching. One dive, two dive, three, 
And here we go. Just out of the reach of De La Rosa. Wow. Just a couple, a couple of steps. Yep, unbelievable. If that, if that. Unbelievable. Those guys, you know, they're putting it all out there right now. And what I always find fascinating with the guys at the top level is, you know, when you think of a dive, you think of it as uh, you're just getting to the ball. But the guys at this level, they're diving and doing something with this ball. They're diving and trying to kill the ball as well, not just dive to get the ball. And you could see it right there, both of them. There's point the, for Moscoso. There's that serve again. And here you go. You know, he's down 5-8. Now it's 6-8. And, you know, he could rattle off a few quick points here. And all that work is now they're tied up again, you know. It's that power of the drive serve that he has. There it is again. And another point. You know, that six-point run for De La Rosa was fantastic, but right now it ended. Now Conrado's on a two-point run. This is a game of runs, Adam, and this is this is something that we need to see. It's just consistency on the end of both these two athletes. It's a good reset there by De La Rosa. He has a chance. Uh, Kill shot. Conrado knows he made a mistake. He correct. paid for it. Yep, he went for it all. He went for it all instead of just being patient. Um, but that's what happens when, you know, Daniel keeps putting pressure on him in the back of the court. He feels like he has to end the rally right there um, and ends up going for a little too much. Barely short. Daniel's finding a lot of success with that serve right now. And all of those serves that he's serving to the left sets up that right serve ace right there. So he keeps serving left, 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 opens up the right serve. Whoa, De La Rosa. He, you know, he played with that left corner yesterday all evening long. He had a lot of success. The adjustment right now here is different. But I love when Conrado does that drive serve to Daniel's backhand. How De La Rosa has to reach really mm -hmm. deep just to make a ceiling shot. There it is. Ace serve. I mean, wow. There's not even much you can do about that. You know, the only way he can do it is if Daniel can come up and read that a little sooner and get that ball before it hits the back wall because it's hitting perfectly at the crack right now that it's dying right when it hits the crack. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Like our post, share our feed, keep following us on social media. This is the finals. After this one, men's pro doubles final. We're going to have to see these two guys again, <laughs> yeah. respectively with their partners. De La Rosa, of course, with Javi Armar. Moscoso, of course, with Alex Landa. That's immediately after this one. So they'll take a break while their teammates warm up. Back to the action. Man, what a serve. Yeah, I saw it good so too. So good serve called. Daniel is appealing. Call yep. stands. Yep. So just like that. We're tied at nine. Yeah. We're in the finals, number one versus number two. We're tied at nine to nine, Adam. I mean, it just goes to show you how close these two are right now. Ooh, that hit the crack on the wow. right. Nothing that La Rosa could do about that one. I think Conrado's playing with a lot of fire here. Doesn't want to go down like he went in Austin. He yes. was he went down straight straight sets. Yeah, absolutely. No, that was good. Yeah, Daniel wants it. It was good though. Oh, Daniel's looking for a screen. <laughs> Going to be tough to get that call there. The ball did go yeah. to the corner of the court. Exactly. And you can't. It's hard to get that. I think no, it's I, more frustration on Daniel's part because the serve is going in so I, strong right now. I agree because Conrado's in the middle of the court, and that yeah. went to the corner. 
10. Conrado is not 10 feet tall, you know. God, you're correct. 12 serving nine. Timeout by taken by Daniel De La Rosa. He'll take a break. We'll take one too, and we'll be back after a minute on IRT Live. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So it's gonna be fun. John Story joined the US military was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February, 2014. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans, that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever increasing need for our veterans specifically, to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. Bienvenidos a todos de regreso. Un saludo a toda la gente de Latinoamérica que está sintonizando esta final entre Conrado Moscoso y Daniel de la Rosa aquí en Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Este es el Lewis Drug Program, el torneo más longevo de Estados Unidos. Saludo a toda la gente de México. Está Daniel, el Potosino. Y toda la gente de Bolivia, de Sucre, especialmente la ciudad de Conrado Moscoso. Un saludo, denle like a nuestro post, compartan nuestra liga. Síganos, hoy son las finales. Después de esto... Conrado Moscoso y Alejandro Landa contra Daniel de la Rosa y Javier Mar. Por ahora continuamos con juego número uno. Back to the action, everyone. Good time out by Daniel. You know, Conrado's had basically two runs this game, and they both went about six points. And Daniel had to put a stop to that, and here you go, just like that. Perfect time out for Daniel. Um, Conrado got hot on his serve again. Daniel had to cool him off a little bit and try and catch back up right now. You gotta ice the kicker every Absolutely. now and then. And unfortunately in the pro men's tour in the racquetball, you only have one timeout per game. So you gotta use it wisely. Yes. Oh, De La Rosa. I thought, I thought he was gonna go for wide angle pass. Yeah, that's where, you know, that was the open shot, but it's tough, you know. It, the, the quote unquote right shot there is the wide angle pass, but you got to keep establishing the down the line, and then that's going to have that wide angle pass open up for the rest of the game. So he's just still establishing that down the line shot. Down the line, Conrado Moscoso. I got to ask you, Adam, you know, that timeout by De La Rosa seemed to be good, but how important is game management in a racquetball match? It's one of the more important things. Um, you know, when someone starts getting hot, you really have to, you know, really calm them down. Take your 10 seconds. So wow. Don't get too hot. Look at that again. And you can see the frustration from Daniel because that, that serve is just coming in so hot right now. We're seeing a very different Conrado Moscoso than what we saw two weeks ago in the same, same scenario. Finals, men's pros. And you know what? I'm seeing a different Conrado Moscoso. Yes. Game one. Game one goes to Conrado Moscoso. 15-9. We'll be back after a two-minute break here on IoT Live. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So it's gonna be fun. John Story joined the U.S. military, was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February, 2014. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans, 
that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and due to your incredible support, the original My Slippers are almost completely sold out. As a special thank you, I am launching my brand new all-season slippers, slides, and sandals for as low as $29.98. This is a limited time offer, so go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code and you'll get all my new footwear for as low as $29.98. My all-season slippers are made with my exclusive four-layer design that you won't find in any other slipper. They're finished with a breathable fabric so you can wear them all year round. And my new slides and sandals are made with patented impact gel, making them ultra comfortable and extremely durable. I guarantee they'll be the most comfortable footwear you'll ever own. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen now to get your very own all-season slipper slides and sandals for as low as $29.98 with your promo code. This is an introductory offer and it won't last long, so order now. Welcome back, everybody. Here with uh, Adam Mania. So, Adam, I, I got to ask you, you know, it's uh, we're seeing a different Conrado Moscoso right now. Daniel has to, you know, dig deep on this one to come back and force the game number three. What changes have you noticed right now in this game number one than what we saw two weeks ago in Austin? Well, the biggest one is obviously the serve right now. Um, and, you know, I even had to deal with that earlier in the week. And it's, it's coming in hot right now. Um, I think even the panel might be helping it a little bit because in Austin with the concrete, that ball was coming off the back wall a little bit more, giving you a little bit more of a chance. But right now with this dead court not dead court but just the ball's not bouncing as much on this panel the ball's just dying in the back court and it's so hard so hard to get to that ball before it hits the back wall so you mentioned something really important adam and we've talked about this before sometimes uh, you know among players but how different is it playing on panel than concrete uh, the panels definitely slows the ball down a little bit you don't get as much pop off of the wall um but you also get a little bit more of a consistent bounce on the concrete. There can be little cracks on the, on the front wall so that ball can hit some spots and go different ways. But the, uh, the panel is pretty true to its bounce. What's your favorite, um, your favorite surface? Uh, good question. It, it doesn't matter to me. It's all a racquetball court. You got to get in there and you got to play ball. But you know what, it, it's, it's, I know it's different, but in all similarities, you know, we have a, in tennis, you have grass, you have clay, you have concrete. Here, you have panel, you have concrete. So yeah, it's, yep. it's, it's different, that's for sure. I prefer concrete playing. I'm used to playing yeah. concrete. Yeah. I agree with the referee. Yeah, I agree, I, too. He had time to shoot that ball. I agree with the referee. Yeah, he had time to shoot that ball. It's a tough one. It's more of an uncomfortable shot than it's anything. An, I agree with you. It's an uncomfortable shot. Yep. But he definitely had the time to shoot there. As Sutsi Munchik would say, take the shot. Yeah, and, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's what you have to do. Um, take the shot. You're not going to get the avoidable there. I mean, especially not in a men's pro final. You're not going to get any free points. See, oh, okay. I was going to say, on that one, I might even call an avoidable exactly. there. Exactly. You know, That's the, a replay. The ball was up. Daniel would have had a shot. Conrado didn't move out of the way. That's what I was talking about, digging deep. That's what De La Rosa needs to do. Conrado trying to be very methodical. 
I'm sure he studied some game film from, you know, two weeks ago, and I'm sure he made some adjustments because you can see it right now. Regardless, the serve is just being fantastic. Absolutely. Well, and Daniel's turned a little bit more defensive right now. He's throwing a lot more up to the ceiling. You know, but when, when I mean, look at that. Super good drive serve. Daniel's even aggressive off of it, and Conrado hits a diving kill shot. I mean, it's tough. Because Conrado's utilizing his ultimate weapon, his serve. Yes. He's so good at throwing that in. He goes left, 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 and then now you're really leaning hard left, and he hits you a jam serve that jams you right, right at your body. Daniel, really not a good ceiling shot. No, Gave an opportunity to Conrado. Back-to-back -back ceiling balls now that have just clipped the side wall and given Conrado easy setup in the front court. But again, you know, it goes back to the pressure that he puts on you with that serve. Not hitting it perfect, he's just going to put it away. But again, this is kind of what happened in the first game. Like I said, Conrado had two runs, three runs really in the first game. Um, and this is his first big run right here. So we'll see if Daniel can cool it off and get up to the box. Daniel De La Rosa, down the line winner. And Conrado tried to test the waters on Daniel's forehand and he knew exactly what was gonna happen now. Yep. I don't think he'll ever repeat that serve. Nope, can't have that ball come off the back wall. Great serve. Good pickup by Corrado. Not enough. And there you go. That's kind of that whole pattern. So Daniel's been hitting that down the line the whole game. So Conrado has to now cover that down the line. Well, then now Daniel has the cross court wide open. You see him use it. Boom, he gets the point. One five. Good mix up of serves. He had Conrado going left, but the ball just came off the back wall just a little bit. Five one, we'll see if Conrado can blister some more serves. Wow, Conrado, right shot again. You know, he, he set that up, though. It's not casual. He just went for Daniels. Backhand, he got that on the corner. Boom, left side. Daniel was doing that yesterday. Yep. All evening long. That, yep. That's what he was doing. And you can see all the pressure that Conrado's putting on Daniel now. Daniel's trying to be perfect with hitting these shots. He just has to go back to what was finding him success in the beginning of the game and getting Conrado back deep, <coughs> making him hit shots that he feels uncomfortable with, and then executing. De La Rosa got that serve. Ball didn't bounce off that back wall like you expect. He just clipped it. Exactly. And then he just, that's one of those where you swing and pray. You swing as hard as you can, goes into the side wall, and you just hope that it, it goes. Now to the right corner. That's what Conrado's going to do in those plays. He's going to keep De La Rosa guessing. Yep, so smart, so smart on Conrado. When you take that ball in the front of the court, it doesn't give your opponent a chance to get reset in the center of the court. So he goes up and cuts that ball off. It's 
close. Says the two bounces were right there, but you know what? He was in the way. Six serving one. Conrado still with a comfortable five point lead. Yep. And one thing that Daniel might be able to do to find success again is go back to that lob nick to the left. He did find a lot of success with that in the in the first game. He can hit that well, making Conrado have to be defensive on the serve instead of attacking on the serve. Six one. Right now, Conrado's just on fire. Serve the shots, you know, and that's one of the biggest things with him when he's on fire and he's consistent. Very hard player to beat. Good pass by Great pass. De La Rosa. Great pass. We'll see if Daniel goes back to that lob nick to the left hand side. He does. Yep. That's a good one. Gets a setup from the back. Wow, we that go. was a good play. Absolutely, and that's and that's what he found success with in in the first game as well. Was just hitting that lob nick, making Conrado have to go to the ceiling, and then gets a setup, and now he's commanding the rally. But that high lob nick though has to be perfect, Adam, because yes. we've seen Conrado take those and just roll them out. Absolutely. Well, and that's why you can't just do that serve because Conrado will get a beat on that serve. <laughs> Referee calls just a replay. You know that's what? such that, a tough call. That, that I have, that person I have to disagree with the referee on that one because, yeah, you know, he, there, was, there was also body contact before. It was a physical contact. It's so close in there though. It's so it's so close. De La Rosa asked the referee has his appeal left. He says he has one. <coughs> De La Rosa has to be really smart when he uses that appeal that he has left. If he uses it, he has to be really smart when to. Absolutely, because if you get to the late late part of this game and need an appeal don't have one it's big trouble oh. look at that again I got to serve I got to tell you the ball doesn't lie yeah, Adam. The, uh, <laughs> the ball doesn't lie I have to say it you're not gonna say it I'm gonna say it justice oh man and both players are aren't finding much success on this serve to the right hand side they keep throwing it in there to keep the other player honest but really they're scoring all their balls on the on the serves to the left And this is where we might see Daniel start coming back. If Conrado isn't getting his serves in, is having a second serve, this is when we start to see Daniel being a lot more of the favorite. Yep. That's an un unnecessary risk they're taking Absolutely. by Conrado. Absolutely. And this is, you know, we see this even in the first game. This is where Daniel really start to kind of fight back here when Conrado's shooting from the back. Down the line winner there for Moscoso. 
But again, Daniel had the shot. You know, he had the setup in the back of the court. You know, he's talking to himself right now on what he should have done there. Mm. Second serve, 6-3. And we know Conrado's going to go on another run this game here sometime, so we'll see if Daniel can come back and get in the game before Conrado goes on another serving run. Interesting choice. Not a good ceiling ball there. Great pickup by De La Rosa. Another great pickup. Double bounce. They're being very physical with each other, Adam. Absolutely. They're playing really close to each other. Absolutely. Well, and, you know, when the referee's not giving a lot of avoidables out and letting these guys play a little bit, you know, it allows them to get a little more physical in there. Shot. Three seven. Daniel probably going to go back to that drive serve left again. And he's hitting it in a way where it's either a short serve or an ace serve. He's really going for that ace. And if not, he knows he has that second serve with that lob nick left. Three, serving, seven. Oh, he went. Set up for Daniel. Moscoso was there. Great anticipation. Yeah, well, he even surprised me there. I thought for sure he would go drive serve left, goes drive serve right, yeah. and, you know, keeping the opponent on their toes. The tough part is we just haven't seen anyone score going drive serve right yet. It's always yeah. been the drive serve left that is the main one that they're getting all their points on. Um, so in a time like that, I feel Daniel wants to get some points kind of head back to that bread and butter drive serve left over there. Well, thank you everybody for watching the finals on Sunday. And I gotta tell you, we'll take a break on the pro tour for a little while. You know, we got uh, two weeks time. USA, Canada, Mexico, we'll all these three countries at the same time will have their nationals. And it's gonna be quite that racquetball week for Absolutely. all these countries. Absolutely, and this year's a big year because it's Pan American Championships, so Everyone is, you know, really wanting to compete hard to make their respective country's teams. You have the Pan American Cup cupping coming up. Uh, that's in uh, during spring break. Yep. Then the Pan American Games will be in uh, November. Absolutely. In Santiago, Chile. Yes. But the added bonus for Mexico is that we have the Central American Caribbean Games in Dominican Republic. Wow. Okay. So yeah, in Mexico, it's gonna it's gonna be a war in two weeks in wow. Ciudad Juarez. Absolutely. And we will see a little change up in in representation. Daniel will now be playing or competing to play for the U.S. team instead of the Mexican team. That's right. We'll be playing with Alex Landa. Yes. And U.S. Nationals. Wow. Let's go so. Go for, going for broke there. You know, and that's definitely a shot that he's hit all day long. So from that position, not a bad shot to take at all. Daniel's in the back of the court shooting. He steps over, just has to execute that pinch. There we go, and that's that drive serve left that's been getting him points throughout this whole game. And yeah. went back to it, hit a pretty good serve. 4-8.
Great pickup by Moscoso. De La Rosa. Great, great serve. You know, Daniel hits that lob nick so well. It's so deep in the court. Barely nicks that back wall. It's so hard to be offensive off that serve. And then just keeps Conrado moving throughout the whole rally. He made it look so easy. Yeah. And you know, Daniel just barely missed that. I think he was wanting to go down the line instead of pinching that ball right there. With that pinch, it clipped the side wall, went right into Conrado's backhand, and Conrado has a nice pinch to the uh, front of the court right there. Now we can see Daniel's starting to come back a little. Conrado's not getting that drive serve in like he was at the beginning of the game, giving Daniel a little bit more of an opportunity to get in the rally and start scoring some points. Great shot. Great, great shot. Even though Daniel thought that that was two bounces, he keeps on playing through, continuing to stay focused, not lose focus, puts the ball away. And at the end here, this is gonna get real interesting. If Conrado can't get that first serve in, now it puts actually a lot more pressure on him because Daniel can play that defensive game and kind of like we talked about earlier, Fabio, you know, I think Daniel might have a little little bit more on that defensive game just because Conrado is such an offensive player. Um, so it's going to put a little bit more pressure on Conrado if he's not getting that drive serve in. Takes away one of those big weapons that he has. 5-8 Daniel. Wow, what a shot. shot. Smart what, shot. What a shot by De La Rosa. Yeah, wow. I mean, over his head. I mean, if someone can hit a good overhead shot, it's De La Rosa. Absolutely. But there, there's some differential right now. I think Conrado, you know, he has power on his side. But De La Rosa, I think he has ball control on his side, especially in the front court. Absolutely. And we can see a little momentum going Daniel's way right now. Yep. You can see it in the body language. See, and that's the tough part, right? If you don't get that ball, if it doesn't clip the sidewall fast enough, Conrado's going to go up there and just take that ball right into the corner. If you know, if if you're um, if you can do a high lob nick to Conrado Moscoso on your second serve, I would definitely try going to the right, going to his forehand, see what happens, because in his d backhand, that's going to happen. Yeah, uh -huh. but you know, Daniel's been finding success all day with that serve. One of those things that. Oh, Ooh, skip. skip. It. You know, it's one of those things where don't change it up if it's working. It's been working for him. It's been getting him points. It's just one of those you got to hit it almost perfect or you leave it up and yeah. toast. 9 6. Great serve. And there it is. Wide angle. Great shot. Moscoso. Serve, serve, return, kill. You know, three shot rallies. That's when Conrado is most dangerous. Conrado, five points away from taking this one. It's going to be a long five points, Adam, though. Yes. Daniel looking to the back. The Conrado hit his hip. Yeah, I think he fell down pretty hard. Referee's coming in to check. Hopefully he's okay. And 
going to take a timeout to check see if he can, Rod can continue. We'll go to a quick break and see Conrado. Referee's going to check. Hold on. Looks like he's kind of putting some pressure on his back right there. I think when he dove, it sounded pretty hard. Yep. I, yeah, I, I saw him his favor his Yeah, I saw him favor his hip on the right side a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Walk it off, just like a warrior. You know, Conrado has been one to take some hits, that's for sure. You know, unfortunately, we remember that uh, incident that we had in Sarasota. Yes. I remember when Conrado, you know, running back, playing against Montoya in the semifinals and when he hit himself. Well, at least, yeah, at least it wasn't on his head or anything mm -hmm. like it was in Sarasota. Yeah. Looks like he's good to go, and we're back in. 6-10. He didn't ask for his timeout. That's nope. a good sign. Yep. He could have asked for his timeout just to recuperate himself, but no, he's good to go. Well, now this will be interesting. We'll see. With that little break, does that change the momentum? Good serve by Daniel. Two bounces. Yes. Daniel had the shot there. 10-6. Down the line. The, yep, left the serve off the back wall, gave Daniel a good opportunity to shoot it. And that's been the difference as of these last five, six points is that serve's not coming in like it was at the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game, you know, Daniel had no option to do anything with the serve. Seven, ten, and again, that's where Daniel keeps getting all of his points is on that drive serve left, that nick left. He's picking on that backhand side of Conrado. Short. Ah, and again, he didn't put that lob nick close enough to the side wall, leaves it too much off the wall. Conrado steps up, puts that ball right into the corner. Oh, just had all of his momentum going left. Daniel's been shooting that ball down the line. And again, that's what I kind of talked about earlier. Daniel shoots that ball down the line so much that you start favoring that down the line, which opens up that cross court shot that he just hit right there. Very smart by Daniel, very, very smart by putting Conrado back in the back of the court, making him shoot from back there. That's where Daniel has found a lot of success in these past two games. Conrado is slipping a little bit right there. Is this a momentum change, a breaking point? Absolutely. Well, ever since, you know, Conrado's taken that fall, hasn't been, you know, hasn't scored any points still. So 9-10. Down the line. And again, right? We've seen this time and time again, right? You have to mix it in the serve to the right, but no one's finding any success when they go drive serve right. Exactly. Not so far. Both of them have their timeout. Yep. <laughs> Conrado, second serve, probably high lob Z right or lob Nick. There's the Nick.
Great defense. Oh. No, too much heat there. Great gets by Daniel. Let's just see a replay of that. I love how Conrado just moved Daniel around the court. Well, and then right, right here on this uh, first dive, Conrado doesn't let the ball bounce. He goes up and cuts that ball off, and Daniel's still on the ground from the previous dive, so it's so important that he steps up and cuts that ball off. It takes a lot of pressure off of him. He doesn't have to hit a perfect ball, just hit it right down the line and Daniel's out of position because of the first dive. And you know what, that's, that's important. You dive, but you gotta get immediately back up and go to your, to your position. You know, who do you think has on the Pro Tour the, you know, the quickest agility to do that? Just dive and go back up. I mean, you're looking at two of them right here. <laughs> These guys are really good. You know, I'd probably throw Montoya in the mix there as well. Can appeal. He's not using his appeal. I think that ball bounced twice as well. Twelve nine. Now Daniel is all out of appeals. We'll see if that was a costly one to make there at the end. Oh. It's a great play by Conrado Moscoso, just clipping that side wall, and boom, goes right to the front. Yep, and there, and there it again, the serve, serve, return, kill. That's when Conrado is finding all of his success. Serve that puts a lot of pressure on Daniel, gets the shot, puts it away. Wow, what a fantastic shot by Moscoso. Wow. That was, what, 35 feet from the back? Yeah, and flat rolled. 14 serving nine match point for Conrado Moscoso. Wow. Stays he in it. He is all in. Yep, stays he is in it. All in. Yep, and that's a that's a <laughs> shot at the end where you're either rolling it or it's skipping. You know, yep. we're not leaving anything else up to chance. Nine fourteen. Short. Now we'll see. Does he go back to that lob, Nick? He hasn't hit it successfully the past two times. Oh, here we go. Second opportunity for De La Rosa. Oh, high lob Nick to Corral's backhand. Double bounce. Ball's good. Good serve. Good serve. And one thing you'll kind of notice there, uh, if you don't really look too close at it, um, Daniel actually stepped closer to the side wall when hitting that lob Nick serve so that he errs on the side of making sure that that ball gets over to the side wall and not come up short like the past two has. So he takes an extra step closer to that side wall. Now he has a higher probability of making sure that that lob nicks the side wall. There you have it, everybody. Professional serving advice from Manilla Athletics, the main man, <laughs> Adam Manilla. Yes. Ooh. Power shot. Yep. And again, that's one of those where Daniel's falling backwards and tries to make a play on it. You know, if he just hits that ball up to the ceiling and gets back in the rally again, probably the smarter shot to hit there. Match point number two for Conrado Moscoso. Can De La Rosa continue? Ball's in play. That's a skip. And I gotta tell you, I don't blame Conrado Moscoso for shooting that one. No. He has, he has to go. No, especially with you know how consistent he's been on that forehand shot from that same exact place. Um, you go for that shot right there. 10-14. Nice return. Side out again. Nice return. Match point number three. Oh, on the line.
behind. He stays alive. He Down stays alive. Wow, De La Rosa making a good defensive effort here. Absolutely, and it was smart by hitting that wide angle, making Conrado wrap all the way around, try and kill that ball, and then Daniel's up in the front court to put the rally away. Here we are, 10-14. Asking if he has a timeout, he does, time and he takes out. a timeout. Very, very, very De La Rosa like timeout. <laughs> Game point almost. Uh, De La Rosa will take a two-minute break, a uh, minute break, and we will too. And we'll be back on IRT Live. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So it's gonna be fun. John Story joined the US military, was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February, 2014. The biggest thing we wanna to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans, that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever-increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. Welcome back, everybody. Time in. So De La Rosa took a timeout while he's serving, a 10 serving 14. You know, it's Conrado's had three match points, Adam. Hasn't been able to finish this one. You know, will, th will this timeout, you know, knock the rhythm of Conrado Moscoso? It's smart by Daniel. His few times he's been in the box, you can see he's changing up his serve location right now, so he's starting a little more left. We'll see what he does with the serve. Oh, he went for the crack ace. Oof. Went for the crack ace. We want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to like our post, share our feed, keep following us on the finals on Sunday after this match, after a 15-minute break. Moscoso and Daniel will come again in the doubles. Moscoso with Alejandro Landa. And Daniel with Javier Mar. Interesting. Oh, and a skip by Moscoso. It. Wow. What a change up of serve, too, from Daniel, right? He'd been going lob nick the whole time. Now he goes over to lob serve, lob Z right. Very smart, changing up the rhythm of the game. What a serve. A replay right there. They were close to each other, I don't know. Yeah, and it was, again, safety one. Uh, maybe could have taken the shot. Good serve. Great serve by De La Rosa. And Ooh. he skipped it. Oh, no. I didn't see that one coming. Nope, I didn't either. Remember, Conrado still has his timeout. Absolutely. So Conrado can take it at any time. He didn't take it when he had that, you know, when he fell down. And those ones are a gut puncher right there, too. You know, you're, you're just trying to come back in this game. You have the shot. And in practice, you hit that shot 99% of the time. Here we go, 14-11. Yep. It's a replay. Yep, I think it barely makes it. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, but you don't want to end the match like that. Mm -mm, no. Especially a men's pro final. Yes. Most close again. He has first serve. 
expect a torpedo right now to yep. exit. Wow. Get again. Wow. What? You know, I, I got to say, you know, we praise Daniel for having great defensive skills, but now he's just pulling out all the stops. 11 14, and Daniel just keeps fighting back. He's just not going away. He's, he's making up for that skip. Absolutely. Dan, I like how he moved a little closer to the sidewall there. Give himself an angle. Trying to hit that sidewall. There's that lob, Nick. Hit it nice and high. Yep. Down the line. Very methodical of De La Rosa. Point number 12. Great serve. Oh, oh, skip by De La Rosa. 14, 12. We'll see if he can stay in it for another chance. I can't imagine the amount of pressure right now on Conrado's side, though. Absolutely. He's had several match points. I think this might be it. five or six now. I lost count, Adam. Yeah. And he uses his timeout. Very methodical. Wow. I got to tell you, that's a that's a check right there. Absolutely. All right. One minute break. We'll be back with the remainder of this match on IRT Live. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. Welcome back, everyone. For those just joining us for the IRT, I'm Fabio Soto along with Adam Manilla. So, Adam, <laughs> Daniel took a timeout when it was time to serve. Now go forward to Moscoso. He takes a timeout on match point. Methodical? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I saw him on the phone back there. He's probably talking to his coach about what serve he's going to come in, visualizing that one serve, seeing if he can end this game on the serve right now. Just throw a laser bullet. 14-12. And, and there you have it. And there Conrado it is. Conrado Moscoso takes the championship here at the Lewis Drug Pro-Am. 15-9, 15-12. Great timeout for Conrado Moscoso. I can't imagine the relief that he feels with this gigantic performance here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. And Adam, thank you so much for being with us here at the booth. Coming up next, player interview with Conrado Moscoso. And we'll be back after 15 minutes also for the men's pro doubles. Adam, thank you so much. Great having you here in the booth. Thank you. Awesome. We'll be back with player interview on IRT Live. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. John Story joined the U.S. military 
was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February, 2014. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. I'm here with today's champion, Conrado Moscoso. <laughs> I'm feeling champions. <laughs> no, uh, thank you so much, everybody, for 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 me for watch me. Uh, congrats, Daniel. He's a great, great player. Uh, great job. Great tournament. I'm so happy. I'm very happy for the championship and and now focus for the next match. Yeah, you have. So you have a little time to rest. So, Conrado, para toda la gente que está viendo de Latinoamérica, quiero darte una felicitación. La verdad que vimos ahorita un, un, un último punto, la verdad, increíble. Tuviste muchos puntos de match point y finalmente terminaste. Y, y es un gusto verte así. La presión que sentías que hablabas tú de llegar a este torneo siendo el número uno y mantener eso, ¿cómo sientes eso ahorita? Pues, eh, la verdad que ahorita siento... Sobre todo mucha alegría, mucho más compromiso, obviamente eh, más allá de todas esas cosas creo que siento mucho más compromiso con todo lo que tengo que hacer en adelante, pues eh, la verdad que es un, es, ah, para, mí, para mí es un honor ser el uno y obviamente el compartir también el estar con muchas personas que han estado justamente en donde están ahora y pues obviamente muy feliz, muy feliz, creo que el compromiso como te decía más que, más que puesto, la disciplina siempre va a estar ahí y pues no me la creo, no me la creo, estoy muy feliz. So, Conrado, we want to present to you the award for the champion of the Lewis Drug Program. Congratulations for everyone to see lo que viene siendo el trofeo, la presea de este como campeón. Una felicidad. Así es, vamos a buscar también de que sea también en el dobles. Obviamente, esperándonos para que sea de la mejor forma. Y pues, agradecer eternamente primero a mi familia que ha estado bien apoyándome, que está siempre al tanto mío, pues quiero muy agradecido siempre con ellos, obviamente eh, a Dios por todas esas oportunidades, a mis sponsors que estaban apoyándome bastante y bueno ahora que, que un, un gran saludo especial a, hasta Virginia, a un gran amigo Julio, a toda su familia, muchísimas gracias siempre por apoyarme, gracias por otra vez hacerme quedar en su casa por, por estar ahí, pues todo el apoyo que me han brindado y pues también dedicado a esto, tanto para él, para mi familia y obviamente para toda mi hermosa gente de Bolivia, eso creo que ha estado viendo esto y es para ustedes. Estamos quizá viendo el nacimiento de una de las más grandes rivalidades del racquetbol. Hace muchos años que vimos a Cliff contra Sotzi, tener una rivalidad muy grande. Ahora a lo mejor tenemos el nacimiento de Moscoso contra De La Rosa para este 2023. Para el IRT soy Fabio Soto sintonizando. Y nos vemos hoy en los 15 minutos. For the IRT, I'm Fabio Soto with Conrad Moscoso, this year's champion of the Lewis Drug Program here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And we'll be back in about 15 minutes with the men's pro doubles with none other than Conrado Moscoso and Alejandro Landa versus none other than Daniel De La Rosa with Javier Mar on IRT Live.